Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Do subscribe to my videos and keep watching my content and keep supporting. Today we'll be discussing about a very special dental school and that is Erman School of Austro. So the advanced standing program for international dentists or the DDS program at Erman Austro School of Dentistry. So it is popularly known as ASPID and it is tailored to meet the needs of the dentists who are trained in other countries and want to earn a DDS degree and follow their dreams and practice as a dentist in the United States. So coming on to the requirements that you should have either earned a foreign degree BDS and it uh, feels nice to see this on the website of a US dental school or a DDS and a DMD or even an equivalent degree which is also popularly known as DDS in other countries then coming on to they must take a short practical examination in fixed prosthodontics and operative dentistry which may also include a written dental exam so if you are not a US or a permanent citizen or a permanent resident or a green card holder you must obtain a study visa and the details would be given are given down in the website let's see that but before that you need to have a TOEFL score of 100 or above which is preferred and the home edition is not accepted also the three letters of recommendation as required for any other dental school to get into an advanced standing program for the dentistry other than that you need to pass the NBD part 1 and part 2 if you have both or INBDE the newer format then coming on to how to apply first is again you need to apply for the program via CAPID and the deadline for this year is August 12th then a processing fee of $145 is required then you have to attend an interview which would be at the USC campus then for the student visa they would issue an I-20 form and a certificate of eligibility and uh, you have to present it and apply for visa at the US consulate and the embassy in your home country or wherever you are or maybe if you have a permanent residence in countries like Canada then you have to manage it somehow if you have any dependents so you need to show additional funds of thirteen thousand four hundred three dollars for your spouse and six thousand seven hundred one per dependent and also there are certain health requirements which are needed which you need to view for the health documentation which would include let's have a look at it so the MMR the this is basically the clearance form of then VZB that is the varicella zoster or the chicken pox hepatitis B the vaccines should be there and uh, then we are talking about vaccines for the tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, or the DPT popularly known, the COVID vaccination viruses, and certain other health requirements. The form has been given. So let's see the fee structure, which is again of integral importance. So, coming on to the cost of attendance, the school, the tuition would be different. For example, for the advanced standing dentists, it comes out to be for year one. It is around 163k and it is 149 for the year two, as you can see here which is the cost of attendance and it is somewhat somewhat similar to the DDS programs with the full fee structure for anyone who is attending from year one so the best way to predict your future is to create it